Welcome to my channel. Today, my topic is about coconut oil. This coconut oil here, that I'm sure you guys hear, it purchased right here, it says original virgin coconut oil, right? It's from Trader Joe. This coconut oil here is from Guyana. This is original, this is virgin coconut oil. This here is the real stuff. This coconut oil here is the same coconut oil, but this one here is the coal. Now, people use coconut oil not just for your hair. You can use coconut oil for your skin. You could use coconut oil when you have a, a serious head cold. You could use coconut oil when you're getting pains in your, in your body. This one here, I have some ingredients inside which I wouldn't, this is my secret. I wouldn't say it. Anybody want to know more about this? You have to contact me personally. I'm not going to let you guys know about what is in here in order for it to get to this color and what is good for. I mean, what is good for is coal. Head coal, chest coal. And sometimes people get pains in the knees and these things is very good. This is a very small bottle. I mix it myself. This one here. This is a little bottle coconut oil. This is from Guyana. Both is from Guyana. This one here comes right from here. You see the difference? Look at it. Look at it. Look inside of it. It more smells like it more look like Vaseline or women or you guys might call it grease the white Vaseline that you normally put in here if you if it's Guyanese people looking at my channel this will look like Vaseline and they may put some maybe some coconut oil in it and give you the kind of a smell but this don't look like the coconut oil that I know of real talk see this here, I didn't hot this up this day. This come from Guyana just like this. It's in sleeping or nothing. Look at it. I didn't have to put this to hot or anything like that. Right? Good. This one. Shilling oil. You could get this here. At the Chinese grocery store, you ask one ask for this name Shilling Oil. I don't know what to call it here. Shilling, yes, Shilling Oil. Very good for coal. Whenever you have a stuffy nose, ask for Shilling Oil. You could drop two drop on your pillow. And you would be able to sleep properly. Even to your baby, you could drop it, you know, not close to the baby face. You know, away from the baby face, but it's able to make your baby breathe properly whenever the baby has a stuffy nose and can't breathe. This is shitting oil. Peppermint oil. Uh, this is a very good thing for coal. Where you can just drop it to your pillow again and so you could able to breathe properly this peppermint oil you can get it at food bazaar i think it's the caribbean section you can get this idex very good for swelling like whenever you're getting a, a, a swell anyway in your face or anyway, this is very, very good. I don't know if you can get it anyway. You can check the Chinese again. They have this, I think. But I bring this from Guyana. 
Melter crystal. Melter crystal is a very good thing of soul where you can use to rub chest and back. But you have to use this with a grease. Back home again, you could go to this uh, drugstore and you would get one, um, like a quarter pong of brown Vaseline or white Vaseline. And you can use this mental crystal and men melt it, rub it into the um, grease until it melts. And this you can use for your, your kid for the back and the chest mental crystal. People use this chest rub, but when you, to me, when you use your own stuff, your own remedy, it works better. This is from right here. You could buy this also and use it. And if you can buy this, if you can get this at the store, and you get the peppermint oil, and you could mix this peppermint oil along with this chest rub it would give you a more stronger effect whereby you can able to rub your chest and your back and for the kids you rub it around the ears uh, uh, behind the ears and in front of the ears and even to the no stop you know in order to just uh, clear the then in uh the sinus from the nose you just rub a little there this we call this inhaler i don't know if this sells here again i get this on guyana breed well this is this name i normally use this so you know you open it up and you put it to your nose and it helps to um, clear the sinuses also but this is something can always be in your, in your purse or your handbag or anything and when you're suffering from any kind of a stuffiness in your nose this would help to make you breathe a little better you know this is what it looks like inside of it this is very minty also and it also clear the sinuses of your, from your nose. If you notice, it's the hole here. And you always have to, whenever you're using it, you unscrew it. This is the, the cover for it. And you cover it back when you're not using it. So that it could be able to keep in that um, peppermint smell that it have into it. Now, but if you can get this mental crystal, along with your peppermint oil and you mix these two together and even if you get this a and the ointment i'm just giving you a remedy this a and the ointment you can mix these two things together here which is the peppermint oil and the mental crystal if you can get it into a little not like not a large portion maybe a, a, a spoon a, a, a pot spoon or a tablespoon how much you want to mix mix it together if you get a small container and you mix a little of this and a little of that I mean the crystal is a shaky kind of stuff it's kind of a flaky it's a very small border and I know people from the Caribbean might know that know about this. I don't know about people who are living in abroad if they ever heard of it or how they can able to get it. I don't know if the Chinese have it, but you can still go and find out. It's the name is Mental Crystal. See the name Mental Crystal. You can go and see if you get this. Along as if you can get this also. These things are very, very good for whenever you're getting st stuffy nose, sinuses, chest, and head cold. <coughs> this here, 
you can cook with it this is the coconut oil as I said to you this can be used to cook you can use it in your hair for growing you could either use it in your head for whenever you have a head cold you put a small amount into your palm of your hand not a large amount a very small amount let me show it to you I'm gonna demonstrate this you see this is a very small amount of oil that I just pour into my hand here if you can really see it yes you know very small amount and you use this to put in the middle of your head we call it the mole of your head in your head and rub it in massage it into your head even to your baby whenever they have a head cold or a chest cold or whatever you use this to back the chest and the head and also the back of the ears this can be used for that I hope you enjoy this demonstration that I just did for you guys. Thanks for watching. Again, this hair, I normally use this, this coconut oil hair on my kids' skin from way back, back home in Guyana. This, don't worry, no fancy nothing. This hair on my kids' skin was very smooth and everything. It wasn't no big fancy shea butter or nothing of that this only thing i could have used for my kids skin coconut oil is very good i didn't come to america to learn about this i know about this way back from since i young my daughter is 33 years of age and she still have clean skin of today coconut oil always good well, I, I could not have deal with it when it comes to cooking. But if you wanted to use this oil here, the best way to use this in cooking, you have to throw a small amount of this, pour a small amount of this oil into your frying pan. And you use a whole garlic. A whole fig of garlic. You either, you maybe cut it in maybe four or five pieces, but big. And burn out this oil. Burn it out. Make sure that this garlic get brown and then you take out the garlic out of this, out of the oil and you can use it to cook with. You burn out the oil, uh, this, because if you don't burn this, use this garlic to burn out this coconut oil, it have a taste, a funny taste in your mouth. So remember I say that, garlic is very good to use for, um, for burning out the coconut oil when when using it to, to cook to cook with yeah use i don't know how many it depends on how much garlic you wanted to use to burn it and then it depends on how much the oil or coconut oil you're going to be using at the time the more oil, more coconut oil you use i think you may use have to use maybe more than one fig or one clove of garlic we said fig you said clove right Sometimes you could use like three clove of garlic. You either leave it just all or you just cut it in either three pieces big and put it in the pan and let it fry and it won't burn. It get a brown color and then you take that garlic out of the, the coconut oil and then you can start the process of using it to cook or whatever you want to do with it. Alright? So thanks for thanks to all my listeners subscribers my youtubers thanks again for everything i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope i get a good review from this video and if you wanted to know more about this coconut oil here i will get it like this hit me up Cooking with Yvette, Guyanese style, or at yvettegraham at gmail.com and learn more about this coconut oil. Alright? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like my video, and give this video a thumbs up. Alright?
thank you again then in the next episode of video that I'm gonna be showing you guys I'm gonna show you more about arbor arbor tea that I accustom using back home in my country all right